and welcome. So today I've been feeling like I need some protection recently. And in order to get protection, I need armor. Now, I don't think I need to purchase the armor. I'm feeling more Lord DIY right now. So today I'm gonna to be making my own pumpkin armor. Before I began the building process, I had to drive my tractor to the pumpkin patch and choose each pumpkin purposefully so that everyone had a certain role to play in the process of building this armor. I'll show you a trick. Watch and listen. Okay. <laughs> it almost sounds like a little drum. Starting off strong with a chest plate. Protects your heart, protects your lungs. Anyways, uh, here's some ASMR pumpkin splitting. Okay, so, wow, that was gorgeous. Um, anyways, so here I am just, like cutting it into little parts so that I can put it together in a minute so I can have like shoulder pads and a chest plate. And you may all be wondering, Taylor, it's not Halloween, you've missed your chance. Shut up, I've had like an eventful month, college apps. My animals died, two of them, my dog and my horse. Yeah, my horse, I said it. Anyways, so, um, I, 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 whatever, okay, and now I'm getting my pumpkin. I'm allowing you to listen to the drilling noise with me, so, uh, be thankful. Yeah, wow, that wasn't that fun. Um, so, as you can tell, I'm drilling holes into the top and the bottom of the chest plate so that I can put them all together with this horse hay rope stuff that I have. <laughs> um, so... The chest plate and the shoulder pads are gonna go through the top and then so we're gonna be able to like put it over my head. I sped my process up a little bit by hiring an assistant to help me through the, the struggles of tying knots. So um, it sped everything up just, just a little bit. The chest plate looks just as gorgeous as we assumed it would and so now we are moving on to the pantaloons. Now I haven't informed you of this yet but I am going to be wearing this armor 24-7 uh, so that I am protected at all times. And so I put on my own very special leopard print belt and um, it's vegan, I promise. There's not actual leopard print. Uh, anyways, so I want to be mobile while I'm wearing it so that I can like sit and move around. So I'm going to hang it off of the belt so that like if I want to fling my legs around, I can. Very good. Now the last step is the helmet and this could arguably be the most important like if you have a big brain you might want to protect it uh as you can tell from what i'm doing i might not have a big brain but maybe i do you don't know so uh i didn't realize how hard it was to make a helmet out of a pumpkin but as i as we know i'm a genius and so i wasn't uh wavered by this prospect of failure i was ready to step into the final stages of my process. I mean, at this point, I was ecstatic. Like, what else could I feel when I was making, like, the first ever, to my knowledge, pumpkin armor besides in Hypixel? But, like, that's Minecraft. That's not real life. I think my enemy didn't really know what was coming for them. Like, do you see how prepared I am? I'm protected from the front and the back. I have a sword. The watermelon didn't know what was gonna hit him. Like, Okay. I don't think it's gonna break. The enemy was wounded, but I still had more to go. Attempt two. Attempt three. Oh, Taylor. <laughs> to make the most damage possible, I decided to just go for the stabbing method instead of the whacking method. <laughs> this method worked even as you can tell that I am blind. You can hear my battle cry as I destroy the opponent. I took my helmet off so that I could broaden my vision, and as you can tell, I don't even need boots. I have slides that protect me just as easily. Oh! That's good! Oh, that's so good! <laughs> Die, watermelon. <laughs> In light of my victory, I decided that the best way to celebrate was to show my superiority by throwing oh. pumpkin guts at the tree. I would also like to say that I respected my opponent greatly, and that is why I buried it peacefully, uh, and Antigone would be very proud of my actions. Thank you. <laughs> 